Hello and a very warm welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on UGC NET. The subject under consideration is economics. We are considering the paper of 2015 December. We will restrict ourselves to paper number 2. However, let me tell you we will be undertaking an analytical approach. That means we will be solving sums that relate to number. Okay. So we will play with number in today's tutorial. So without wasting any further time, let us get started with the tutorial. Let us read the question. We will start with question number marked as 20, 33. It says geometric mean of four numbers is given to be 8. And these are four numbers. We need to determine the value of x. So we will straight away use the formula. So the geometric mean is the... So you have 2 into x, 16, 32 and we have under root 4, 4 items are there. So you have 1024 into x, 4 and this will be, so to get rid of the under root, so it will be 8 to the power 4, 1024 into x and we can get the value of x from this which is 4096 by 1 0 2 4 which is nothing but 4 so the correct answer will be option number b moving on to the next question we have the question says if mean is 28 and mode is 25 we need to determine the value of median so this is a question from central tendency or you can even say the chapter of average so we have since we know mode is equal to 3 median less 2 mean so we'll substitute the value so we have 25 is equal to 3 into i'm just indicating medium as n in 2 into 28 so we'll solve them so 3 median becomes 25th minus sorry plus it will be 56 so this become 81 by 3 this is our median and it is 27 that means it corresponds to option number a Next question is a probability sum. It is just question number 35 and it says if the probability of solving a statistical problem A is 1 by 4, this is actually 4 and B is 1 by 3, when A problem is given to them, the probability that it, the problem is solved is, so we need to find. Now the probability that a solves the problem and denoting it as p a is 1 by 4 probability that b solves the problem is given by p b so i am writing as 1 by 3 so therefore the probability that a will not solve the problem will actually be given by P A bar this is 1 minus 1 by 4 which is this so this becomes 3 by 4 similarly we will compute the same value for B so therefore probability that B will not solve the problem becomes p probability this so we have 1 minus 1 by 3 and the answer become 2 by 3 and since it is all the events are independent of each other so are independent we will use the formula so the probability that none will solve becomes equal to probability a bar into probability b bar this is equal to 3 by 4 into 2 by 3 and it becomes 1 by 2 so therefore the probability that problem will be solved is given by 1 minus it will be solved no one will be able to solve the problem that is half so the answer becomes half that corresponds to 
option number e so with this we wind up today's tutorial i hope this short tutorial on ugc net economics was helpful if yes then don't forget to hit the like button do subscribe to our channel share our videos and thank you so much for watching